Hi guys, welcome back. Now in today's video, you can probably work out I'm nowhere adventurous and certainly not at the caravan. No, instead I'm waiting at home for a delivery. So I thought I would share with you today a really cunning way of splicing two cables together. Now the reason why I'm sharing this with you today is because the method I use is perfect if you've got a temporary fix to make and with a little bit more work you can turn this splice into a permanent connection. Now the reason why I'm sharing this with you today is because recently I've had a problem with my caravan alarm. One of the cables underneath the caravan was actually quite badly rotted and it caused the cables to corrode. This meant that the alarm kept activating. So in the end I cut the cable out and replaced it with a new piece of wire and since then it's been absolutely fine. So let me share with you today the splice and it's perfect if you have no tools or equipment and you can create a strong temporary fix and like I said, with a little bit more work, you can make it a permanent connection as well. So let me show you what I've got on my desk here. Right, okay, so this is the cable that we're dealing with. Now, right from the get-go, I'm gonna make this really clear right away. This splicing method is good for 12 volts. It's good for signal cables where you've got devices that need to talk to each other. It is not recommended and not suggested for high voltages, such as mains voltage. If you've got a broken mains cable, contact somebody who is competent and knows what they're doing and knows how to reconnect the cables together. There are methods in which you use to connect high voltages together. This is not one of them. So this is the cable that we've got. Now let's assume that this cable got broken. So I'm just gonna cut the cable there in half and uh, oh dear, our uh, alarm no longer works properly on our caravan. So what do we need to do in order to connect it together? Well, we could bear the cable back and we could twist it together. That's a method I've seen used a long time. Um, then you can knot it up on itself. But actually, what I used to do in uh, my radio days was use a method for connecting cables together known as a Western Union splice, or as it's commonly known, a linesman splice. And this is how we're going to do it. So the first job we need to do, we need to prepare our ends. So let's start off by removing some of the outer sheath. Now I'm using a pair of wire strippers here, which are frankly a bit rubbish and a bit broken. So it hasn't actually removed all of it in one go there. So what we'll do is we're just gonna pull away the outer sheath and that exposes all the strands in the cable like so, yeah? Okay, first task we need to do is just twist them up. And I do this in a clockwise fashion. So if I was looking down the end of the cable, I would twist it this way, okay? And of course we do the same on the second end as well. Now this splice is actually used from uh, when Western Union were sending cables across the United States in part of the telegraph uh, expansion. And this is how they actually joined cables together. So cross them over like so, and with one cable, tuck it over, sorry, the top, tuck it over the top and out the other side. Okay, do the same on the other side, like so. So we've got something that looks like that. I'm just gonna tidy that one up a bit better. So now it's not gonna fall apart, but it's certainly not tight. So the next step we do is we focus on one side here and we want to now very tightly coil this piece here around the body of the wire. And we want to keep going until we use all of this up. And the, the underlying message is here, we wanna make this as tight as we can. So really pulling it and stretching it as much as we can around the body like so okay and we do exactly the same way on the other one making it nice and tight like so and using it all up and there we go that is a western union or linesman splice it is unbelievably strong 
if I now try and pull this apart, and believe me, I am trying here, I cannot pull that apart. Oh, bloody Nora. <laughs> because the fact is this, if you pull it, it actually makes that tighter. <laughs> so uh, that's, uh, that's a Western Union splice. You can see it's really, really effective. All we'd need to do now is put some tape around that and that is an excellent temporary join. So that's the principle, that's how we do it. It's pretty straightforward as you can see, but it is incredibly strong. So how do we make this a permanent connection? Well, let's make the break again and I'll show you how we make it a permanent fixing. Here we go, once again, we've got our broken cables and the way we're gonna make this a permanent join is obviously just using a soldering iron. Now I'm using a gas soldering iron today and we're gonna use a piece of heat shrink as well to make it a excellent permanent connection. So let me light my gas uh, soldering iron here. Right, let's wait for that to warm up. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to twist the cables again my sort of iron so I don't burn myself on it. Again we'll make it nice and solid. We'll do that on both sides. Now believe it or not NASA actually use this method of splicing cables together as well and there is a full-blown NASA specification on how to splice cables together. It uses this method. So if it's good enough for NASA, it's going to be good enough for my caravan, I think. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to tin the ends of the cable. Now I'm a bit fingers and thumb here because I've got the camera above me and I'm just trying to make sure that when I do this, you can actually see it. Let's pull it down so you can actually see it a bit better. So all I'm doing is I'm just tinning the cable here, making sure we get it nicely coated with solder. And again, just doing the other side now as well. So get some solder to flow. And the cable, like so. So I hope you can see there, we've got two bright and shiny tinned ends there. Now what we need to do is to just clean these up a little bit. So all we're going to do is just cut the ends down. Like so. And again, we do the same thing as we did before. We make the splice. But before we do that, we're just gonna add our heat shrink onto one end of the cable, like so. It's very easy to forget that, isn't it? So put that on the cable and once again we're going to splice these two together. So starting with one side, loosely fold it over that way and on the other side fold it over loosely that side. So we've got our devil horns. Okay, And then focusing on one side nice and tightly and as tight as you can roll it back around on into itself, like so. And to help me along here, I'm just gonna use a pair of pliers just to make sure that I can get that last bit nicely tight. And do exactly the same thing on the other side. So that's now nice and tightly compacted together. Now all we need to do Let's get our soldering iron back again. And we now just need to flow solder over this. Right, so now it's just time to move our heat shrink into place. It's nice and cool, cool enough for me to touch. So we just put our heat shrink over the top of the join and as you can see, because we've rolled it up nice and neat, we can make an excellent join here now. And then I'm just gonna use my soldering iron again. I'm just gonna use the back of the actual heating element there. And I'm just going to roll it over. 
So if you are away and you do have a soldering iron with you, you can make an excellent joint if you need to. So it's a great idea that if you need to extend cables, for instance, what you can do is you can cut your original cable and then make two splices like this and extend the cable. Um, but uh, there we go. So that's the permanent fixture. And that's our temporary one there as well. And as you can see, they're both nice and neat and they'll fit for purpose for the uh, duration that you need the, them connected. So this is perfect for a temporary fix. Let's say, for example, you've got a broken light and it's a broken cable. This would do the job for uh, the duration of the journey home. Just obviously make sure you put some tape over it. And then when you're home, remake the joint off and reconnect it like this. And that will last for as long as you've got the caravan. And there we go guys, that is the video for today. I hope it's been useful for you. It's worthwhile giving it a go, having a, a practice, and making sure that you are okay with how it works. Because believe me, when you need to make a connection, it's worthwhile knowing that you're gonna last for the journey home, etc. So any questions, any comments, feel free to comment down below, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, bye bye now.